second chapter, I'll say Luke, it won't be long today, just a short exhortation. You are here from our music department on Christmas of the Father, the first Noel. Second chapter of uh, Luke. We preach so much about the Advent. The Advent is that season, the greatest season, the beginning of the Christian year to mark the becoming of the most notable person born in history. Amen. The Advent starts four Sundays before uh, the actual day of Christmas. And this year it was on the fifth Sunday of November. We started preaching the Advent. The Advent about the coming of the Lord. Amen. Amen. We get too wrapped up in the event, the things that are surrounding uh, this season. But uh, though we are wrapped up and tied up into the event, we have to treasure and honor the advent greater than the event. The Lord led me to these two people. He gave me a message from them, and I started uh, working on the message. And I said, wait a minute, I, I, I taught this before, I preached this before, and I went back into my archives and saw that it was last Christmas. The Lord gave me these same two people. In verse number 25 of the second chapter of Luke, we find these words in the New King James Version. And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. And this man was just and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel. And the Holy Spirit was upon him. And it had been, and it had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ. And so he came by the Spirit into the temple, when the parents brought in the child Jesus, to do for him according to the custom of the law. He took him up in his arms and blessed God and said, Now, Lord, you are letting your servant depart in peace, according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all people, a light to bring revelation to the Gentiles and the glory of your people Israel. And Joseph and his mother marveled at those things which were spoken of him. Then Simeon blessed him, excuse me, and said to Mary his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rising of many of Israel, and for a sign which will be spoken against. Yes, a sword will pierce through your own soul also, that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. Now there was one Anna, a prophet, the daughter of, of, of Phanuel, the tribe of Asher. She was of great age and had lived with her husband seven years from her virginity. And this woman was a widow of about 84 years, who did not depart from the temple but served God with fasting and prayers night and day. And coming in at that instant, she gave thanks to the Lord and spoke of him to all those who look for redemption in Jerusalem. Just want to take a few moments today to speak about that day and that instant. That day and that instant. You are not here by happenstance. Not on this day. Come on. Matter of fact, not on any day. For the Bible declares that whatever day you wake up, this is the day that the Lord has made. Yeah. Don't know about you, but I will rejoice. Yeah. Yes, I will rejoice and be glad yeah. in that day. Yeah. Depends on what we do with that day and that instant. God has provided us many times to get right with Him. God has come to us many times with the greatest gift of all. God has come at many circumstances on many days and many instances to get our souls right with Him. All right. But we got to ask the question, what have we done? But we have this day. For tomorrow is not promised. But we have this day and this instant and this moment to do something about what God did. And these two characters, Simeon and, and Anna, these two characters don't make the Christmas cards. You won't see them in the nativity scene, 
No, that day there was no, no notoriety. Yes. Even then, but they was truly of the will of God. Yes. God did something in their lives. Yes. So we're going to this morning that Christ came for the lowest, yes. for the least, yes. for the lost. Yes. And I say for the left over. Yes. For the left out. Yes. For the lonely. Yes. He came for us. Yes. This day in this instant was for you and for I. Yes. God did it just for us. Yes. Luke uses a Greek word here that means you know, it was a great anticipation. They were waiting. These two people were waiting on the, the Messiah with great expectation, expectation and anticipation. What did you come in here today? What was the reason that you walked yeah. into the house of worship yeah. today? Right. Simeon and Hannah came to meet the Messiah. Yeah. They came to see the one who was born the Christ, the Savior of the world, the one who would save us from all of our sin. Yeah. And the Bible said, I believe it was John said, there was a day when men like us and you, we all sat in darkness. Mm -hmm. But thank God for the marvelous light. Yeah. Thank God for the light. Yeah. I heard one pastor say, thank God he turned the light on. Yeah. Yeah. Give us peace. 
give us relief. Give us some consolation from this. We're tired of struggling under this. Many times we struggle under heavy weights in our lives. Things that are burdening us down. But Christ said, on this day and this instant, I'm here to take your burden for my burdens of life. And yeah. my yoke is easy. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 And I love this. We, we pursue comfort. We pursue it down many avenues. We, we pursue it, you know, on Fridays. And we, we used to do it on Fridays and Saturdays, but now people drink everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, now, and people used to just drink and chew the tobacco, but now they got something going in their nose and something goes up their vein and something that they can light up at home and got these children puffing and puffing. But you can't get consolation from that. No. All right. That leads you to another problem. Yes, sir. All Addiction and addiction will leave you with affliction and affliction will leave you home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the Bible said that Simeon was led by the Holy Spirit. Oh, you don't know who the Holy Spirit is. If you think it's just jumping up and shouting, you don't know the Holy Spirit. Oh, let me tell you, you better ask Elijah. Elijah, so I thought God was in the earthquake. But it wasn't. I looked for the Lord in the storm, but he was not there. I looked for God in all of the things and the noise, but he was in the still, small voice. Sitting in your room at night, God telling you, you know better than this. You know you can do better than this. You have a God that's bigger than your power, but you just won't take it. Yeah. Somebody was led by the Holy Spirit. And he was prompted to go into the temple on that day. And on that day, God led Joseph and Mary. Yes. See, you don't know why God puts you in this place. But this is the day and this is the instant. And God brought the Messiah right there to Simeon. Because Simeon had been waiting. Yes. He had been waiting on the consolation. There he holds Emmanuel in his hand. And he said, this is God with us. I don't know if you understand what he's talking about. He didn't say this is uh, the Torah with us. This is not Judaism with us. But he said, this is God with us. Amen. You see, we don't need religion, but we need God. And what we need from God is a relationship with God. You see, the Bible say, I aim to say, how can two walk together except they be agreed? Now, let me give you a news flash. Let me break your heart. Let me tear down your own assumptions about God. God will never agree with you. God's not going to let you talk. I don't care how many laws you pass in this country. God will never let you tell it. He didn't make a man for a woman. And a woman for a man. And you dress it up in some different color ice is gonna be good for you. No, I'm not gonna be good for you. He said, wine is a monica. Yeah. Sunday before Easter. <laughs> but the Bible says Anna was there every day. 
Hell, we're looking for redemption for, for the forgiveness of a sin. Listen, the Bible says she came up that very instant. The very instant that she came out into the temple floor. The very instant she came out, there was Jesus. There were Mary and Joseph and Jesus. That instant, amen? On that day. Yes. And in that instant, yes. well, the baby was, was a, a few weeks old, and, and, that, and, and here they came to do what they do in their uh, After so many days, they bring the baby, and the baby has to be circumcised and blessed in the temple. Yes. Some of y'all ain't watched the whole business right here yet. Uh -huh. Some people bring them right here, and I, I, I got christened the baby, and I don't see the baby no more. She's 18 or 19. Oh, yeah. You try to call me to go to jail and get them out. But, that, but they bought the baby. Listen to this. Simeon took him up. And Anna gave praise. She gave praise. We don't like to give praise over the next and I don't We're too sophisticated. We're too complicated. We're too something amazing. But let me tell you something. I'm not too big to worship the Lord. And the auctioneer said, so 